Hi, thanks for your interest in Ideastatica and welcome to this overview of what's new and improved in version 10 and in particular the update that was released in late May 2019. I'm Nick van der Kriek from Building Point Australia. We look after Ideastatica in Australia and New Zealand. If you'd like to get in touch with us, our email address is tecla underscore sales at buildingpoint.com.au or tecla underscore support at buildingpoint.com.au. The highlights of the new and improved features are mentioned on this slide. Uh, we've got capacity design now for seismic situations. There's also a local deformation check for hollow section connections. Improved features are the modelling of hollow section connections to joints via gussets. And uh, very importantly for designers in these regions, uh, we now have most of the steel sections and grades that we require. And I'll go into more details uh, on this shortly. First of all, I'll go to the Idea Statica website just to show you where you can get a little bit more detail on some of these other points. Uh, you can go to the Resources tab, and if you do so, you can search for version 10. And uh, currently the third item on the list is the release notes for Idea Statica Steel version 10 as distinct from detail version 10 which is a concrete module so if we go to steel version 10 we can review some uh, interesting details in the introduction about the development of the software and uh, then we can move down to look at the seismic check and for example if you wanted to nominate the expected position of a plastic hinge or a dissipative item uh, you can do so with this version and the analysis of the connection can be carried out with the nominated overstrength factors for the member, uh, including the strain hardening effects. So that's quite an important uh, addition to the software for those requiring a seismic analysis of the connection. Also, in terms of hollow member connections, we've got a local deformation check now presented, so here's an example. You can see the deformed shape as you could before, but now you get a local deformation for different elements in the connection. So that can be compared then against uh, design limits. There's design for Russia. There's also some improvements for stiffness, particularly as applied to welded members, and also the modeling of hollow section members connected via gussets to the joint. That's been improved, as has the links from various other software packages to Ideastatica. At the bottom of the release notes, there's a bit of a glimpse into the future. It's Ideastatica steel member, which is a buckling analysis of entire members or frames. And this may prove to be very useful for unusual situations, which are perhaps not covered easily by the code. So it's a beta version, not publicly available. You can get in touch with us if you would like further information. What I'll do now is move on to the software itself. What I've got here is a fairly typical portal frame knee connection. I've got a 610UB101 haunched connection with a bolted moment end plate to a 800WB146 column. I've got some bracing members coming in connected to the column on one side and nothing on the other side at this stage. If I hover over some of these elements, you can see near the bottom left that I've got a 610UB101. The material is 3679.1-300, so that's just shorthand for ASNZS 3679.1 grade 300. So I'll show you how you can specify these sections and grades uh, for Australian and New Zealand design in a moment. Uh, if I hover over some of these other elements, such as the haunch, that's also from a 610UB101, the column 800WB146, the ASNZS 3678, grade 300, and the tubular members are to 1163, grade C350. So I've got a range of steel section types here to Australian and New Zealand standards, both in terms of sizes and grades. So to show you how you can go about that, I thought I would just add another member. If I select that bracing member and add new member, I'll get a doubling up there, but I can move that to the other side like that. And if I select the plus symbol for this member, I can nominate pretty much any type of member I like. So if I want a symmetrical I section, I could select this item here, I sections. 
I can select channels, angles and hollow sections here. So first of all, if I wanted a eye section, I would scroll to the bottom for UBs and UCs for Australia. You can select that item in the library and select of course then the required size. If you want a TFB for Australia, you can select that option and there's universal bearing piles for Australia. For PFCs, again we have libraries from all over the world so please make sure you select the one for Australia if that's what you require. So uh, here it is, PFC AUS and for angles we've got equal angles and unequal angles for Australia now in the software and for square and rectangular hollow sections we've got RHS and SHS for Australia there and similarly for hollow sections there's CHS for Australia there. So there's quite a wide range of section shapes and libraries there applicable to Australia. For WBs and WCs what you can do is nominate the size from this option here. You can specify the dimensions of a WB for example. Let's make this section a 700 WB 130 which is 700 millimetres. The flange width is 250. It's 20 millimetres thick and the web is 10 millimetres thick like that. So there we have the dimensions of a 700 WB 130. We don't have the correct grade yet. If the grade we require has already been specified, we can select it from the drop down list box. There it is, uh, 3678 grade 300. But if you want to see the broader range of grade options available, select the plus symbol. We can add a new grade to this project. So if it's a hollow section, we can specify that grade. And if it's an RHS or SHS, Typically it would be C450 or C350. If it's a circular hollow section, it would typically be C350 or C250. We've got the AS NZS 1594 grades there as well. If you have a Quenchton tempered steel, you can select AS 3597. That's Bissaloy 80 there with a yield stress of roughly 700 MPA. And we've also got uh, some other Q and T grades there. If we want a hot rolled section grade, uh, ASNZS 3679.1 in grade 300 is the typical base grade. There is the high strength option there as well. There's also the hex grades if you have uh, hexagonal square or round bars in your connection, perhaps some components, you can select the 300 or 350 hex grade there. And finally, I'll go to the ASNZS 3678, the plate grade. We've got 250, which would be typical for plates and cleats and so forth, but it could also be a number of other grades. WBs are typically in 300 or 400, same with WCs, but we could also have 350 and 450 grades for plate as well. There's also the weather resisting grade there. So what I'll do is select ASNZS 3678 grade 300 for this welded section and OK on that. And now we see we have a 700 WB 130 and looking at the bottom left we can check the material grade is 3678 grade 300. So that's it for this recording. What I'll do in a subsequent video is change up this connection a little bit to connect the beam to the column here and carry out an analysis and design review of this connection. So in the meantime Thanks for your interest and cheers for now.